Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Simon and I'm CEO and owner of company Webnestify. I wanted to just say, uh, say thank you to all of you and your support. And uh, we just reached uh, 100 subscribers. For me, this is a really big achievement and it makes me happy and continue doing what I'm doing that I can see that my videos and tutorials are helping you to set up your own applications and also that you are learning new things. For the rest of this year, I have a couple interesting topics scheduled and also next year will be packed with uh, some amazing things. So stay tuned on this channel and keep learning new things. In this special episode, uh, I will cover how you can set up your own PHP application in the run cloud. Application that I will cover will be your own URL shortener. And uh, it is a really great application where you can see all of your links, your stats and everything else. So let's get started. So let me introduce you to the URLs, your own URL shortener. URL stands for your own URL shortener. It is a small set of PHP scripts that will allow you to run your own URL shortening service, like a tiny URL or a bit.ly. Uh, running your own URL shortener is fun. It can get geeky and is really useful especially when you have to deal with uh, GDPR and uh, when you want to see uh, how many people clicks on the link that you send in your emails or also how your links can uh, perform when you share them for example on YouTube or social medias etc. The great benefits on URLs are it is free and open source software it is private, it is running on your server, so you have complete control over the, over the data. You can customize it with uh, hundreds of plugins, as we cover later in this video, and it is uh, pretty simple to install. And uh, we will set up this application in our Run Cloud server. So let's go back to our Run Cloud, and uh, we need to deploy our new web application. For this, with RunCloud you are not limited to only WordPress, but you can also create any custom PHP applications. Like uh, this application we're gonna cover, you can also install a perfect CRM, so you can have self-hosted CRM on your system, and uh, many other PHP applications that you can download from Envato Market. So. When, you, when we wanted to deploy, we need to deploy empty web application. We want to name it. In this case, we're going to name it like this. We're going to assign the user we created in RunCloud. And uh, we want to set up domain. So in this case, it's going to be your.webnestify.uk. That's my training domain and DNS integration Cloudflare Webnestify yes we want to add where is Webnestify training and we want to enable auto SSL uh, these settings are only if you have the business subscription with RunCloud but if you don't have uh, you will need your, you will need to add your records manually to your DNS and also you will have to select the basic SSL but in this case we're gonna use advanced for PHP as you already know 8.1 is the way to go for every application and uh, when we double check it we can deploy this application Now, when we have our application deployed, we need to go back to the web applications. And uh, we will need to create our own database. 
so all the entries, uh, traffic stats and everything are in stored in database. So in order to create a database you will need to go to the databases menu and you will need to click add new database. Okay, sorry, we need to go back. First we need to create the database user. I'm gonna add new user. We're gonna name it your, but you can name it however you want. We're gonna generate strong and complicated password. We're gonna copy this password and uh, we're gonna add the user. Okay, we need to add five uh, characters. So your user, for example, and add our database user. Now we need to go back to databases and we need to add new database. We're gonna name it your DB. You can choose collation, but I'm using the default one. And uh, we need to assign the database user we created. So in this case, it's gonna be your user. And save database. Perfect. Now, when we have our database, you will need to download uh, your URL shortener. When you visit their website, you will see install and upgrade. And basically, where is it? No, when you go to about, and you will download the package from the GitHub. And you will download the source code, zip code. Once you have that, you will need to connect via SFTP. As you follow my tutorials on Rarkle before, you already know how you can connect to the SFTP. So let me switch my window to the FTP manager. And uh, I will connect to the training server. I will enter the passphrase for SSH key. And now, we need, when we go to the web apps, you will see we have our blank PHP app, yours, and we open that folder. When you download and unzip the zip you downloaded from the GitHub, what you want to do is to copy and paste all the items inside your web application in the run cloud. So now when all the files are copied to our web application, we need to delete index.html and now we can go back to the run cloud and edit required settings. Go back to the browser. And we need to go back to our server. We need to open the web application. And we need to go to the file manager. In the file manager, we need to go under the user folder. First, we need to rename this config sample.php. I'm gonna rename it. And we're gonna rename it only to config.php and click rename. <clears throat> when you click on the config PHP, it will open a new window where you can edit the config. So let me open it. And uh, you need to take care ex you need to take extra care when filling this out, otherwise uh, you will encounter error. So for database user, we need to enter the user we created with your user. For the database password, you need to enter the password you copied in the background. Hold on. Where is it? Okay. Here is the password I copied. For database name, it was uh, your DB, I guess. For localhost, you will keep this simple. You can change a prefix if you want. For a site, you will want to add HTTPS and you enter your domain. 
so in this case it was your that domestified at UK. And uh, if you want to change the language, you can enter the la language code here. You can find all available la language code on their installation documentation. And uh, basically, all of this you can leave unmodified. So I need to click the save config. So now when you edited the PHP config, you will need to visit the URL you set up and you need to go to slash admin. When you go there, you will be presented by this page and you just click the button install URLs. So let's install it. As you can see, everything went down and uh, we need to go to the administration page. And now we need to enter our username and password. And we can get this from the PHP config. When we open again the file manager, user and config.php, and we forget to add our own user credentials, so we can do it right now, which will be, as you can see, Username and password, that's our credentials. So we're going to name it URLs and password, separate password. And we're going to click save. But you, you need to add your own secret, your own strong password for this. So username was URLs and secret password. And now we are on it in our dashboard and uh, we can test it so for example I'm going to enter the HTTPS slash Ernestified cloud and we're going to type VNC and we automatically shorten this URL basically it's not shortened but uh, is your own custom link and when somebody clicks this link, uh, you will see all the statistics. So when we copy this link, we go to the next window. The page was loaded. And when we go back, we're going to restart it. And as you can see, already see clicks. You can already see the IP address. And when you go to the stats, you can see the traffic stats for 7 days, 24 hours, etc. You can see the countries and also the traffic source. So this is pretty cool when you have too many links to manage and when you want to see who is clicking your links and how well are your links uh, performing. Another amazing thing about this application is that you can uh, configure it with hundreds of plugins. When you go to their GitHub, you will see there is more than 200 plugins that you can install. In my case, I uh, recommend I recommend uh, adding uh, 2FA support because it makes your site secure. Also anti-spam because you want to prevent some uh, spammers or bad IPs to access your links and also as we scroll down we can see that we can uh, disable stats for bots let me find it where is it bots oh here is it don't log bots. In order to install plugins, you need to open the plugin and you need to go to the code and download zip. Once you have that, we need to go back to our WinSCP manager. Go back and as you can see, this is folder I created and uh, we have 
plugins here. Every plugin you download from GitHub will have Dash Master, and we need to rename it only to antispam.zip. Same go for all plugins that you download from GitHub, you need to remove the master. Let's remove it. And let's remove it. And now we can unzip the folders. So we unzip the zip file and also we need to remove all the master or main text in the plugin folder name. I know it is a tedious, but it is what it is. When you have this, we need to go back to our web application. We need, we need to go back to the user. And uh, here you can see the folder plugins. And you select the plugins you downloaded and you just copy over to your server. Now the plugins are copied, we can go to our browser. And uh, we need to refresh the page. You go to manage plugins. And here you will get list all the plugins you installed. So for 2FA we want to activate it. Also we can activate the anti-spam. And also we don't want to see statistics from the bots and activate. Okay. And for 2FA setup it's pretty straightforward. You just go to 2FA setup, you select OTP and you go to activate. And you can scan this code with any applications that you are using for your own two-factor authentication codes. So we have basically this is it and it's pretty straightforward and easy to set up. You can also host this application on Docker but I wanted to give you something special and uh, show you the power of RunCloud that RunCloud is not only su supporting WordPress, but is also support many custom PHP applications like uh, a perfect CRM and this one. The sky is the, the sky is the limit. You can uh, you can download or buy more application on Invito Market and you can host it confidently on your RunCloud server. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel also share so people can see and uh, yeah thank you very much for your support and uh, stay tuned for the next video bye bye